Friday. We have got a kettlebell workout. Daisy and Catherine are on. I love that. I'm being quite lazy this morning. I'm in joggers, okay? I just thought it's kettlebells. I feel like I've transitioned from leggings to joggers. The next thing I think is possibly a bag. Um, <laughs> the relaxed clothing is definitely happening in lockdown. Um, so today we are going to do a kettlebell workout. It is going to be half an hour just over with warm up and cool down. Rocking the crop top. I mean, that's when I was young. I used to wear a crop top. Um, definitely got the leggings to hide the mum tum though. So, um, so yeah, we've got a kettlebell workout today, full body. Um, now I don't know whether you know with the kettlebell, the reason why we do it is it works massively, um, on your stability. Now, normally when you're holding your kettlebells, it's one each side and stuff like that. When you're holding, um, your dumbbells, sorry. When you're holding your kettlebells, it's so much central. So you're working your core so much throughout. Um, we do kettlebells at the studio and we do like six week courses, which are amazing. Um, and it's like massively, massively um, popular because everybody knows it kind of hits this midline, which is what we all want to work, I think. I think for everybody, whether you struggle in that area or not, we all want to build a strong core. And it's not just so we have like abs or look great in a bikini. It is so we're strengthening the back. I think as we get older as well, you really realise how much a weak core can really pull your posture down or, you know, just give you some back trouble. So it's really important to add in some kettlebell workouts. Now, I love kettlebells. I've got an eight kilo kettlebell. The others are in my um, car from PT clients yesterday. So, and I'm gonna show you basically how much you can work with one kettlebell in your house. Now, if I turn up to PT clients, especially outside at the moment with outdoor fitness, and I've got one kettlebell, they kind of look at you like, what, you're gonna, you're gonna work me really hard with that, are you? Absolutely, kettlebells are amazing. I love them, everybody should be doing it. There's loads of YouTube videos um, of kettlebell workouts. So if it's not in your regular programming or regime, definitely add it in once a week, once every two weeks, just to kind of work through. Really good to work on the single leg and single arm stuff, but definitely try and work through the stability of the core. Um, you'll fo you don't have to do as much of the crazy like ab workout because your core is working throughout when you're holding that kettlebell. And a, a lot of your movements are the functional stuff. So like your squats and your deadlifts, which is all that core to extremity stuff. So. Good morning, everybody. It looks nice and busy on here this morning. So anybody who doesn't have a kettlebell, you can use dumbbells, okay? The only thing that we're gonna do, <coughs> that's kind of, <coughs> the kettlebell owned, is the swing. But that can be done with dumbbells, so don't worry. And we're actually gonna do single arms um, swings, so it gives you time to kind of change with your dumbbells, so don't worry. Um, some of the stuff that we're gonna do on the workout is gonna be two movements, okay? So we're gonna start with a deadlift into an upright row. It just gives us more bang for our buck with our exercises. So instead of doing one thing for 30 seconds, we're gonna up it and we're gonna try and work the lower and the upper body. 30 minutes, it's all you'll need today. Um, so we're gonna start off with a 30 minute round, uh, 30 minute, 30 second round, and it gives me 30 seconds to kind of explain what the next movement is. And then the last round will be your 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. I love doing those kind of workouts because it kind of gets you ready, warms you up, um, and then you can get into it. Um, so there's 15 exercises, 30 seconds on the first round, 40 seconds on the last round. We're gonna have some music blaring. So if you wanna put some music on in the background of yours, absolutely fine. Um, we're gonna warm up with our kettlebell, okay? So anybody um, with any shoulder or back issues or anything like that, anything that you do today, just take it steady. I'll always do a revised option. So if you need to, just take those, okay? So grab your kettlebell. <coughs> We've got some um, nice dance music today. Everybody's like, I'm not really ready for that on a Friday morning. But trust me, it will get us nice and ready. Okay, so remembering when you pick up your kettlebell, always safely from the floor. I'm just gonna turn you down a little bit so you are with me. I can't leave you over here because it's my son's third birthday tomorrow, so we've got boxes galore. So it might look really nice, this bit of the room, but that side of the room is definitely messy. Okay, so you're gonna hold your kettlebell. You're gonna squat down nice and deep. Make sure that your knees track over your toes, okay? So to this position, you're gonna come up, press above the head, okay? Down, nice and steady. 
So really smooth movements just to warm everything up. So warming the legs, squeezing the glutes, up to the top, warming up the shoulders. Good. Nice and steady. Good. Tummy tight throughout, okay? Really switch that core on. Make it look up your back the whole time. Two more. Good. One more. Well done. Okay, you're going to take down to a bent over row. So you're going to have your left hand on your left knee and you're going to pull up to the side, okay? So we're warming up all the upper body and the back, okay? So nice straight arm at the bottom, nice tight elbow and big lift at the top. Three, down, two, down, one. Then you're going to change sides. So right hand on the right knee, big pull up, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Okay, kettlebell's going to go down, we're going to warm up with some deadlifts, get the hamstrings nice and warm, okay? So basically you're going to have your feet hip width apart, you're going to make sure you push your bum right back, okay? We're not going down in a squat. We're going into a deadlift, so the bum goes right back, tummy stays nice and tight, and we don't go too low. So we're taking the kettlebell back down between our feet, up to the top. Good, tummy tight. Three. Good. Four. Well done. Five. Real big squeeze in the glutes. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine and ten. Okay, we're just going to go through some swings just to really warm up through the glutes and then we'll get into the workout, okay? So nice and tight through the tummy, picking up the kettlebell. So you're going to make sure that your kettlebell doesn't drop below your knees, okay? So I see some people doing this. Okay, that's just going to put some extra pressure on the back. You want to keep it nice and high in the groin. You're taking the bum back and you're going to flick up to the top, okay? So it stays nice and high. Initiate from the hips into the glutes. Three, really forceful. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, right. So our body should now know we're going to work out. We are going to step into the first one. So the first one is a deadlift, which we just did into an upright row, okay? So deadlift, upright row. From the front, there, elbows high, and we're lifting up, okay? Let's put the hair up. This hair looks like this this morning, apologies, because yesterday I got caught in the rain with PT clients, but I'd only washed it in the morning, so I was like, I'm not gonna wash it again. So I just went to sleep with some very wet hair last night. So apologies for that, no glamorous PT this morning. So you're gonna deadlift and pull. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Deadlift, pull, tight through the tummy, stick that bum right back. Good, great shoulder build of these. Good, nice and tight. Make sure as you lift that kettlebell up, that your tummy and your glutes are really switched on. Good, 10 seconds. Well done. Best way to activate your core is to come on to Fit and Well to do a workout in a crop top. <laughs> I'm not gonna breathe out the whole time and rest. Okay, the next one is a squat and a press. So like the one we just did in the warm up, like a thruster. So you're gonna hold the kettlebell central, Nice and close. Now some people like to hold it by the horns. I prefer to hold it by the ball. So you're just gonna squat down, drive up, and then press, okay? Your thruster would be more coming out of the squat into the press. I don't want you to do that. I want it to be two separate movements. So let's go. Squat, press, good. Squat. Don't forget, as low as you can in that squat, weight in your heels. Good, press above the head. Woo! 15 seconds, good work. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two. Okay. Right, next one is a single arm swing. So I'll show you with a dumbbell. There's no dumbbells in the room. So if you're using a dumbbell, imagine this is your dumbbell. So you're gonna swing back and you're gonna change at the top, okay? So you're making sure you keep that kettlebell nice and high again. Don't forget, pick up nice and safely, drop it through, change hands at the top. Don't get cocky and let go, or the TV or whatever you're seeing me on might be gone. Three, two, one, let's go. So big flip up to the top. Good, take it back, through the legs, big swings. Yes. Come on, Friday workout. Good, 15 seconds. Big squeeze. Good, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay. Right next is a windmill. So you're gonna hold the kettlebell in your left hand. Right hand is gonna go up in the air. You're gonna take it down to the side and pull back, okay? Now you might find that you're starting to pull and your foot lifts, try and keep that foot down. Okay, you're just gonna take it down, pull back to the start. Down, pull back to the start. Five seconds and then we're going. We're gonna do the right first and then the left. Three, two, one. Good. Look at that hand as you go down. Good. You'll feel these, especially in that area we all hate, between the pants and the bra at the back. If you've ever done your progress pictures, those are the shockers when you're like, is that actually what my back looks like? So this is one of those areas that will really work through there. Three, two, one. I mean, you've got to have a little bit there. If you don't, you know, women need a little bit of um, excess carbohydrates in their back and above their pants. It's what makes us womanly. But these will work it to make it a little bit nicer, a little bit more toned. Okay, five seconds, we're going to the other side, okay. Four, three, two, let's go. Down and pull, down and pull. Well done, you'll really feel that through the core, that trunk really having to pull you back to the start. Good, looking up to that hand. Well done. Woo! Good, 10 seconds to go. Big pull down, don't go too far. Well done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Okay, next is a shoulder press, okay? Into a tricep extension. Now, if you've only got a heavy weight on your kettlebell, just maybe pick up a dumbbell or something else. So you're basically gonna go from your front Keep the kettlebell wrapped in that position, okay? You're gonna press it above your head, then you're gonna keep your elbows tight and tricep extension, okay? So it's gonna be tough. You might need to dip and drive towards the end for your shoulder press. With your tricep extensions, keep your elbows tight to your head. Three, two, one. So up and extend. Good. Tummy and glutes squeeze so tightly to support that back in this position, okay? Now from the side, you can see I'm not moving, okay? It's all in that upper body, big press. Good, get those arms in line with your ears, okay? Get that head right through the arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, next is a reverse lunge, and then when you're in your lunge, you're gonna press, so we're gonna do the right side first and the ne left side next, okay? So your kettlebell is gonna be wrapped in your hand, watch any watches. You're gonna step back with the left, press with the right, back to the start. You can see I was talking too much and hadn't switched it on. That's what's gonna happen, so that's why your tummy has to work so hard. Three, two, one, so step back nice and steady, press. Good, back to the start. Good, press, back to the start. Well done. Oh, I do love a weighty workout. 15 seconds to go. 
That shoulder should be burning somewhat. Well done. Five, four, three, two. Okay, we're gonna change sides. So we're gonna step back with the right and press with the left. Woo, everybody okay out there? Nice and busy, everybody loves a bit of kettlebells. Well done, everybody. Are we ready? So stepping back with the right, pressing with the left or the other way if you did it that way last time. Three, two, one. So don't forget, nice and steady. Now this isn't my more controlled side, so I've really got to switch my head on and my core on a little bit more, okay? Good, big press. Woo! Good, halfway. So hard. Well done. Good, big press. 10 seconds. Woo! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, next. Now you're probably going to be like, oh, you're having a laugh. Next, we're going to do a squat jump. Now, if you don't want to hold your kettlebell because it's too heavy, absolutely fine, okay? But we're just going to work against our own resistance. So we're going to squat down, jump up, okay? Don't hit yourself in the chin. Don't drop your kettlebell. If you prefer to do it without, absolutely fine. Four, three, two, one. I feel like I'm going to regret putting these in. Good. So we do a lot of squat jumps in my workouts. This is just to add a cheeky extra into it. So lower your squat, high in your jump. Nice, steady and soft landing. 10 seconds. Woo! That is hard. Good. Five, four, three, two. Right, next. There's no rest for the wicked, is there? Even with 30 seconds. So the next one, you're gonna lunge and row. So you're gonna lunge with your left, row with your right. So feet hip width apart. You're gonna step forward, get your hand on your leg and row, okay? I'll do it from the side. So you're gonna lunge and row. Back to the start, lunge, row. Now don't underestimate these because the step back to the start, you're gonna have that kettlebell in your hand. So it's gonna be really hard, okay? So don't underestimate that push back to the beginning. Are we ready? Three, two, one. So lunge and row. Hand on the leg if you want to. Really switch your tummy on. Well done. Woo! Good work. Big push through. Nice deep lunge. Nice big row. See what I mean by getting the most out of your 30 seconds work? 10 seconds left. Woo! I don't know what's gonna hurt most tomorrow. The tummy, the legs or the arms, and rest. 30 seconds, we're going on the other side. Ooh, everybody okay out there? Okay, so we're gonna lunge on the right, row with the left. 10 seconds to go. Woo. The hair and the makeup's all non-important today. Kettlebell, as you know, is gonna get you sweaty and hot. Three, two, one. So lunge and row. See it then? You really have to switch that head on, switch that tummy on. Back to the start, nice long lunges. Good work. This might be my favorite kettlebell workout yet. Well done. Keep it going. Woo! Good, five seconds left. Nice tight tummy. Three, two, and rest. Okay, next is squat pulses. So you're gonna hold your kettlebell. Now, if you can, you're gonna hold it out away from your body, okay? If you need that security of keeping it tight, that's absolutely fine. So you're gonna hold it out in front and you're just gonna pulse down. Now, if you get to the point, you're like, this is killer. Put your kettlebell down, but come back to the pulse. Three, two, one, let's go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Good. 
Keep that tummy button pulled in towards that spine. Lower half pulses. Stay there. Keep those knees driving out over the toes halfway. Come on, you've got this. I can feel the glutes really having to power through. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Imagine the next round, 40 seconds. Okay, the next one. This is like my stupidest idea ever. It's a burpee thruster. So, you're gonna have your kettlebell in front of you. You can see that, can't you? So you're gonna hands down, burpee back, pick it up, and thrust. The saving grace of these is that they'll take a long time, so we won't do many. Okay? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Hands down, jump back, pick the kettlebell up, squat down, drive above the head. Back down, good. Squat and press. Good, hands down. Well done. Squat and press. Good, well done. Five, four, three, two, and rest. They weren't as bad as I thought they were gonna be. All of you are like, no, they were really hideous. Right, next one, we're going down to the floor for the last two minutes of the 30 second rounds. Then we can have a little drink of water, okay? So, you're gonna hold the kettlebell directly above your chest. You're gonna have your feet up, nice and high. You can either do double legs, or you could do singles. Okay, 30 seconds. Are we ready? Four, three, two, one. So that kettlebell staying above your chest is really making you have to stabilize, but you really have to make sure every time you pull your feet up to the top that that lower back is pressed against the floor. Don't feel bad for having to go down to singles Absolutely fine. 10 seconds left. Woo! Five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh my goodness. Okay, next one and last one before we rest is a double crunch. So you have your hands and your knees in. You can extend them both out, okay? Again, if you need to go single legs, absolutely fine, okay? Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, let's go. Woo! Keep it moving. Well done. They're tough, hey? That tummy's just getting that last little blast workout before a rest. Halfway. Good, everyone. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Oh, well done. That's really good. Have a little breather. Have a drink of water. Is everybody all right out there? I'm hoping all the 29 that are on are all training. So if you're working out with me this morning, can you give a thumbs up on here? Let's see how many people are doing a kettlebell workout on this Friday morning all together. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Awkward moment waiting for some thumbs up to arrive. He's like, no, it's stuck on 29, Angie, but there's only three on, which doesn't matter anyway, because people will do it throughout the day. But surely there's, oh, okay, sorry, I haven't gone down to the bottom. Right, have we got thumbs up? Yes, we've got Dominique, Maddie's doing it. Wish I had a lighter kettlebell doing this with an eight. You're with me, Dominique, are you okay? Patricia, Ollie, Maddie, Natalie's on, Amanda's on, Laura's on, Lisa's on, Sheila's on, Sean's on, Jessica's on, Andrew's on, Tracy's on, Jen's on, London Chick is on, and Natasha. All these people working out, I love it. Arlene's working out, look below. Loving all these familiar faces, so good. So we're gonna work back down the ladder now, everyone, all right? So it's going to be 40 seconds. So those of you who work out with me normally will know that extra 10 seconds work and the less 10 seconds less work, less rest, 
is going to be really tough, okay? But we're going to work back down to the ladder through 15 exercises. So you know you've got 15 to do and then you are going to feel buzzing for the rest of the day. And it's rainy and horrible out today. So this is definitely the right thing to do on a rainy day because it's so easy to just say I'm not doing it. So we are going to do it together, all of these lovely people working out on a Friday morning. So we're going to work back down the ladder, okay? So we're going to start with those double crunches on the floor. I'll tell you what we're doing. It'll be a quick kind of, this is what we're doing. 20 seconds is going to be enough to kind of get yourself ready for the next exercise, okay? Get your towel to hand and get your lid off your water. So if you need some, quick swig and back in, all right? Literally love kettlebells. Just such a buzz. I love working out, but kettlebells is definitely, it's that strengthy side of stuff, isn't it? Right, so we're going to go over the double crunches, okay? So hands over the head and extending out, all right? Are we ready? Okay, hang on a minute. Five, four, three, two, one. So the comfy idea of wearing joggers this morning seemed great. But now it's like back in the day, tell me somebody else did this and I'm not alone. Back in the day when you used to watch Mr. Motivator on GMTV and you used to wear a black bag to work out in because they told you you'd burn more calories. I definitely am the person who did that. I really hope I'm not alone because you're all like switching off now that she's absolutely nuts. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, next one. Hands up, leg lowers, okay? Just make sure you keep your hands nice and dry and that the, when you're getting sweaty, these kettlebells aren't swinging around too much in those palms. Four, three, two, one. Good. Well done. I was just thinking, I bet the bottom of my feet are awful because I went out with a dog just before starting the workout in the garden. <laughs> Didn't put any trainers on. I thought I'd go barefoot this morning. Feel the earth, the carpet, the rug pile beneath my feet. Good, 20 seconds to go. Good work. Come on, big pulls. Woo! Keep it moving. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two. Oh, right, what's next? Oh, sorry guys, but it's the burpee thruster. Okay, you can tell everybody proudly today. I did a burpee thruster, okay? That's what we all want to do on a Friday. Five seconds and we're in, okay? Jump back to that bottom position. Squat and thrust above the head. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Squat and press. Good. Hands down. Jump it back. Squat and press. Well done. Take your time. Walk these out if you need to. You can just step them out and step them back in if need be. Woo! 15 seconds to go. Well done. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two. Whew. They were nice. Okay, next one. Squat pulses. So don't forget, at any point, it gets too much or you feel it through the back, just drop that weight. Not literally drop it, but pop it to one side. Just continue with the pulses. Three, two, one. So try and hold it out in front of you, okay? Squatting down nice and deep, pulsing at the bottom. Lower half, okay? Not the top half, you wanna be at the bottom of that squat. If your back starts to feel it, put that weight down, continue. Keep those knees driving out, over those toes, my face says it all. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Oh, yeah, the legs are definitely going to be what hurts tomorrow. So next, forward lunge and row. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna go left side lunge, right side row. Four, three, two, good, and row. Back to the start. Well done. Nice and close to the floor with that kettlebell on, fully extended. Big pull, tummy nice and tight throughout. Pull that belly button right in towards that spine. Whew. Well done, 15 seconds. Good work, everyone. You are smashing this this morning. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. When the word smashing came out, it was like, oh, everybody's saying that word smashing. But now it's like really funny because Josh's mum and dad will come around and they'll be like, yeah, the kids smashed their dinner. <laughs> now we love the word. Now we love it. So right side lunge, left side row. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Good. So remember to execute both movements right. So the lunge, don't let that knee trap over your toe in the row. Pull the tummy in to look after the back. Big explosive pull up to the top. Good. Keep it going. Woo. Well done. Keep moving. 10 seconds. This is tough. Big calorie burner this morning. Not that calories matter, but my heart rate hasn't dropped since we started. Three, two, and one. Sorry guys, it's squat jumps next. Quick drink of water. Are we all all right? For some reason I just don't like this song. Just isn't like making me, that's better. Are you ready for squat jumps? Three, two, one, let's go. Good, nice soft landing, remember? Nice deep squat, nice high jump. Weight in the heels, nice and soft as you land. Keep that kettlebell away from your chin. We don't want any injuries. Over halfway now. Stick that bum right back. Knees nice and wide. Good. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Okay, next one. Left sided reverse lunge, right sided press. It's really hard, isn't it? You could do this. Okay, are you ready? Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Press, good. Press, nice and steady. Remember what I said about the forward lunges. Execute both movements separate. So one is a reverse lunge, one is an overhead press. Keep moving, halfway. Good work. The body this morning is like, what is going on? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Oh, reverse lunge on the right. Fan needs to go on. Don't know why it's not already on. Left sided press, right sided lunge. Are you all ready? I'm not sure I am. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Nice and steady. Switch that core on. Fleecy joggers are not the idea. If when I started you were like, ah, oh, joggers is a good idea. It's not. Don't do it again, especially on a muggy day when we need a storm. 20 seconds. Keep moving everyone. Good. Last 10 seconds on these. And then we're halfway through the work back down. We've got seven minutes left to go. In fact, it's six, three, Two. So tough. I haven't had my breakfast yet this morning. Because when I'm doing live workouts, I just can't do it. 
So now all I can think about is my breakfast, which if you'd like to know, is the same as any other morning, is yogurt and granola. Homemade granola, way to go. Three, two, one, let's go. Big press. So don't forget, shoulder press, tricep extension. Shoulder press, extension. Shoulder press, extend. You can do it. Well done. 10 seconds. My face says it all, doesn't it? You can dip and drive if you need to. 10 seconds left. Woo! Five, four, three, two. Windmills are next. A bit of a rest. Somewhat. I don't know how, but. They feel like they're going to be a lot nicer than burpee thrusters. 10 seconds, everyone. So windmills, hand up, kettlebell in your left hand. Let's go. Good. All the way down, looking up at that hand. Keep that kettlebell nice and close to your leg. Slight lift in the foot is okay, but no twisting or turning, okay? Woo! 20 seconds left on this side. All the way up to the top. As far as you can go down. Well done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Holy shimoli. I like saying that. Good morning, Tamara. I hope you're doing this either now or later on. 10 seconds, everyone. On the other side. Woo! Five seconds to go. Are we ready? Four, three, two, and one. Good. All the way down. You have got three more exercises left after this. I know some of you only have half an hour, so make sure you catch up afterwards. Oh, I mean, what are they gonna do when people gotta go back and work in the office? You're gonna have to have office half an hour workout, aren't you? Virtual trainers for your staff for half an hour. If anybody wants to hook that up, get in touch with Maddie. I'm sure she'll know loads of people who could do it. Five, four, three, two, single arm swings. So through and up to the top, Dumbbells, all kettlebells, everybody all right out there? This is super tough, but super rewarding. So we've got the single arm swings, then the squat and the press, and then the deadlift and upright row. Are we ready? Three, two, one. So don't forget, keep that kettlebell above the knee, really dry from the glutes, okay? So you wanna make sure it's all driven from that behind. And there's a nice ping, up to the top, nice and explosive. Squeeze those glutes together. Well done. Whew, stick that bum right back. Hinge from that hip. 15 seconds. Come on, let's go. You should really want to pick it up now. You know there's only two minutes left to work after this. Five, four, three, two, and one. The first song that came on was like my favorite. I'm going to go back to it. Let's put it back on. Okay. Are you ready? So a squat and then a press, okay? So you're not going into a thruster. It's a squat and then you'll press. Let's go. Squat. Press. Squat. Press. Well done. Good. What I don't want is your squat to generate the power for you. So it makes it a little bit harder than the thruster. Because normally, your squat would drive that kettlebell up over top. Whereas now, your upper body's got to do all the work. Whoo! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Last one. Deadlift and upright row. Is everybody ready? 
Last 40 seconds of work. Then you're free agents for this Friday to do as you wish. Hopefully eat some good breakfast. Eggs, high protein, nuts, granola, meat, fish. Three, two, one. So deadlift, upright row. Deadlift and pull. Good, stick that bum right back. Good, keep that row nice and tight. Don't forget, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your tummy on the row, okay? Well done. Good. Come on, everyone. We've got 15 seconds left. Let's really big push to the end. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Oh, my goodness. Wowzers. Everybody all right out there? Are you all okay? While I gabble on, let's have a little stretch. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed that. We've got a really cool workout for you next Friday. I won't give it away because that's Maddie's job. Um, but we've got a really cool little session for you next Friday morning. So make sure you plan this time in again next week, okay? It will definitely be worth it. Well done, Maddie. Did you do it? Well done, Dominique. Well, well done, Amanda. Good work, Alison. Good work. Is that Alison in Germany? I think it might be. If anybody's like the other side of the world, definitely let us know. Thank you, Maddie, and thank you, Fit and Well. I don't know how many times I can actually say thank you to Fit and Well, but genuinely, they've helped so many PTs out during this time. So definitely go out and pick a magazine up and read through it. So they've got some fab stuff in for July and June, actually I love June's. Daisy, did you use your deadlift bar? Another fab session. And also like online, some of the, some of the things that Maddie shares, like the links through on, you know, going back to work, about staying at home and keeping, keeping on the straight and narrow. There's so many things that they've covered over lockdown. So maybe have a little look through the list of links and see if there's anything there for you. Um, definitely utilize the free information is what we all need in lockdown. So reach down to the toes and fit and well have been given loads of it. So definitely have a look. Oh, big stretch down to the toes. Real stretch out through the back. Nice quad stretch. Okay, Alison. Oh, sorry, that's Alison in Essex. That's a nice place to be. I wouldn't mind being in Essex. With you on the 8th, but struggle with the backward thrust. Definitely deserve my Friday night chocolate. Oh my God, yes. Loved it, Anne from Catherine. Loved it too. Fab session. Oh, well done. You just did it for the 12 kilo. Well done, Daisy. Good work, London chick. Good, stretch on both sides. Now make sure you stretch out, okay? That was a really weighty workout. Really important that you stretch and lengthen afterwards. There's loads of Pilates on here if you want to do a little bit of one of those from another day on the Fit and Well site. Good, big stretch up. Just stretch all through those obliques and intercostals where we've just pounded on a lot of that. So really nice big stretch up and lean over. And the other side. Right, so things you've learned from today. Kettlebells get you hot and sweaty. Hang on a minute. Don't wear fleecy joggers for your workout. It's not very nice in there. Um, and definitely try and work out a few times a week. Thank you all for having me. Thank you, Fit and Well. Thanks, Maddie. Thanks for everybody of my followers for coming over to join for the workout. And it will go on YouTube. So anybody who didn't catch it, it will go on Fit and Well's IGTV and then on my YouTube. So if anybody needs to do it another day, don't just do it once. Do it again maybe next week. Bye, guys. Have a good Friday.